closely with Secretary Mnuchin and the Chief of Staff. Um, Democrats should come to the table. Um, their immediate statement um, in the aftermath of the president issuing these EOs um, says that they would like to meet halfway, but you know those are empty words from Democrats that they'd like to meet halfway because so far they've just gone in the other direction. So who reached, yeah. Did anybody reach out to him? And I'm not going to go through the president's call logs, but you guys can ask him later today if you'd like. He'll have a press briefing at about 5.30. Jeff. Uh, thank you, Kaylee. Uh, Secretary Pompeo has raised the issue of uh, Russian bounties on U.S. soldiers in Afghanistan with his counterpart. Does that mean that the administration now considers the intelligence on this uh, secure or, or clear? And if so, does the president plan to raise it with President Putin? Yeah, so on uh, the part about Secretary Pompeo, I'd refer you to the State Department. That was a New York Times story. So in terms of his personal com conversations, I would refer you there. Um, but on the part of the president, he this was unverified, um, not conclusory, as the New York Times uh, initially reported. Um, the president will always act in the interests of our troops and look no further than the killing of Soleimani and al-Baghdadi, which brought vindication to hundreds of U.S. servicemen and women who lost their lives overseas. Just to be yes. clear, does that mean that you did that Pompeo did not raise this? Does that mean that... I would refer you to the State Department. But are the two sides seeing this, seeing the intelligence as different here and the State Department? Again, you're asking me to verify reporting. That would be in the realm of the State Department. But rest assured, this president will always act in the best interest of our troops. Yes. Thanks, Kaylee. Uh, back on the executive orders the president signed this weekend, as a candidate, Donald Trump criticized fairly sharply uh, Barack Obama's use of executive orders and faulting him for failing to reach deals with members of Congress. How were the president's actions this weekend uh, any different from uh, President Obama's? They're a lot different when you consider the fact that President Barack Obama uh, utilized executive order uh, to push forward a policy um, that he denied he had the right to push forward 23 times on DAPA and on DACA. He said at least 23 times, I don't have the